field for tonight's first race is coming out onto the track, parading the post behind Parade Marshall and outrider Kathy McDonald. 15 race car tonight, first of four divisions, two-year-old pacing Colts as the Ohio State Fair Stakes continues. This is the Buckeye State Pace, once again, first of four divisions in a field of eight. Number one, Make Me Proud, tie owned by Michael Bardo, driven by Mike Wilder. Two, Noble Betcha, owned by Charles Miller, and a late driver change to Ken Holliday. Three, Ombre Highlight, owned by the Highlight Stable, Linda Bond and Brian Brown with Brad Hanners. Four, Samurais, owned by Ron Bates, Dave Hawk will be aboard. Five, What's the Big Deal, owned by Diana Lynn Malone, Joe Adamski will be in the bike. Six, Expression, owned by Tom Lane with David Myers. Seven is Spigot, owned by George Stefell with Pius Sunlin. Number eight, Sam Munition, owned by Ron Potter, Martin Pauley, Mike Campbell, and Joseph Festum. Jody Essig will be in the sulky. Field for tonight's first race. No changes in the double fire. Nice first race has concerned. taken that final turn. Starting gate is in underway as the field moves in behind starter John Betts. It is post time. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing. Noble Betcha with a rush between horses takes the lead. Umbre Eyelight right alongside in second down the back stretch. Make me proud. Tie into third. Sam arises up on the outside. Sam Munition far outside looking for a seat. What's the big deal now parking him out? Here comes Spigot quickly taking over his spot along the rail. And Expression is eighth and last as they drive to the quarter mile pole. Here comes Noble Betcha on the outside of Hombre Highlight to get the lead in a moderate 28 seconds flat. Two-year-olds in parade open up this card past the stands. Noble Betcha for catch driver. Kenny Holiday moves away as the one on a nickel favorite. Noble Betcha will take plenty of beating from here. Noble Betcha on top a length and a half. The chestnut is stalking second Hombre Highlight. After that comes Make Me Proud Tie. As they wheel around the clubhouse, turn Samurai's in the fourth. What's the big deal in fifth? Ranging up on the outside, Expression, Spigot, and Samunition. They're at the half in 58 and 1. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Noble Betcha bouncing right along on his heels in second. Ombre Highlight follow up on the outside by Make Me Proud, tie third. Down the back stretch, Expression is doing the hard work on the outside, fourth. Samurai's is fifth. What's the big deal? Comes off the rail. Up on the outside, Spigot and Samunition. Side by side and stride for stride, racing by three quarters. Expression jumps off stride on the outside in 127 and two. Wheeling around the far turn, Noble Betcha, the three is now on the run. The five's got to go wide. They now move to the head of the stretch. Out on top, it's Noble Betcha by a good margin. Make me proud, tie next. Here comes the long shot up the rail, Samunition racing through the stretch. Noble Betcha continues to lead the way. Make me proud, Ty. Here comes Samunition closing late. One, make me proud, Ty. Holds on second, eight, fast closing third, Samunition and the five. What's the big deal was fourth. In the winner's circle, Noble Betcha, a two-year-old bay gelding by Noble Land Sam out of Betcha I Cam. Owned a Napoleon by Charles W. Miller, trained by Max Shaw, given a flawless drive by Ken Holliday. Covering the mile in 156, number two, Noble Betcha, the winner of tonight's first race. Mr. Paul Meckling from the Ohio State Fair Stakes in the winner's circle to meet and greet Kenny Holliday, Max Shaw, and Charles Miller. The two one exact at twenty-three dollars and forty cents, twenty-three forty. The try one hundred and twenty-three dollars twenty cents. Post time at seven nineteen for race number two.